I want to know what you plan to do next, because there are people who are saying on your behalf, not your, you're not saying it yourself necessarily, but there are people, well, you know, why not uh, a mayor uh, be for a president? Mm -hmm. or for governor or for senator, you know, something big. But president has come up. The next thing I'm going to do is, is yeah. get on a plane and go back to South Bend. Where, okay. Uh, where cop, I'm the mayor. Uh, I'm going to push you to actually answer no, it. I mean, look, it's a, a day job like mayor isn't yeah. a job that you have just so you can get another job. It is immediate, it's important, and it right. commands uh, just about all my attention. And to the extent that I have any attention left professionally, politically, I'm putting yeah. my energy into hitting home. This but you do have ambitions up. beyond being mayor. Look, I, I can't be a mayor forever. Uh, right. I know that, and and I I know that you know I'll have a decision to make in 2019 about whether to seek a third term. But or you'll not. but you will s serve out this term. That's my plan. For yeah, sure. absolutely. Okay. I'll also say that every compelling opportunity that I've had in politics has come as a bit of a surprise. I didn't know that I'd run for state treasurer in 2010 in Indiana, right. which is how I cut my teeth. Uh, I certainly didn't know that I was going to be running for DNC. Nobody sits on their mother's knee and says, I want to be a party chair one day, right? Yes. Um, that no one who's well balanced. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it happened because there was, there was this moment where I saw, I realized that what was needed yep. um, and what I was about and what I had to offer, there was this fit between them. That's how I became mayor, too. And uh, I think every, anyone looking for a job opportunity ought to be on the lookout for that.